I don't really know what this is all leading up to. I'm more than a little curious about it. No, I don't want to- no, stop, stop. Jesus. <laughs> Getting down from here may be a little tricky. The go through the window sensitivity is somewhat finicky. Stop it! Stop going back through! God damn it. Is there another way out of here? Can I open the door? Okay. Alright, we need to not turn around is what needs to happen here. Not turn around. Go over the edge. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, so that happened. Um, now what? I'm not really sure where to go next. I missed something here somewhere. Uh, I feel like we need to go up there, but I don't know how. There's definitely something up there. How do we get there from here? I do not know. Unless we can go from inside, perhaps? Maybe we can go up from inside Lewis's room. Somehow? Trap door, something like that, perhaps? Ah, wait, there's stairs here, aren't there? On my left. Yes, here we go. Got it. Okay, now what? On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Is this Dawn's room or Edie's? I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Or is this my room? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. <laughs> Disaster relief, Sanjay Kumar, evac specialist. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. This is my bedroom, I think. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Present. I love presents. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that uh. he had a key to it. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Open. There we go. Forward march. Come on. 
Someone keeps making noises out in the hallway of my apartment and scaring the shit out of me. Okay. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh, jeez. I can't see a damn thing. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After oh, that, geez. I moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> oh, jeez. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Mm -hmm. The last finch left alive.
until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. Oh, jeez. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, jeez. We were never Edith to begin with. I mean, we were, but you know what I mean. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, that was... Not what I was expecting. For Shirley Dallas, 1948 to 2013. This is cute. Aww. Oh man. I am... I am feeling emotionally drained by that experience. Uh, yeah, definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, super intense. Super well done, super uh, affecting and, and well designed and uh, clever and deep and yeah, wow. I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, yeah, I don't really even know what to say. That was intense. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed uh, traveling through this with me. Um, let the credits play out, of course. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, so this has been fun. Just a nice short, uh, little short one-off recording. Um, and we'll be starting a new Let's Play very soon. I've been encouraged to do a Final Fantasy game, so we're gonna be doing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be going live pretty soon. And, uh, as always, please comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Um, Feel free to stop by my Discord chat or uh, my streams on Friday nights on Twitch. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.